Distant review. Action! What's going on, Animal City Movie Talk fans? I'm Ryan D. You can only Ryan 680. I'm Angela with that cat lady and... And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. This is our review, guys, of The Assistant, guys. The Assistant, um... So let's get right to it, man. A look at a day in the life of an assistant to a powerful executive. As Jane follows her daily routines, she struggles increasingly aware of the insidious abuse that threatens every aspect of her position, guys. Let's get right to it. This is our review. Stay tuned. What's going on, guys? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. You call it Ryan680. I'm Angela with that the end. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys. You bring the movie world right into your ears, devices. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Let's get right to it, guys. This is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, guys, but it feels like it's it's Monday. dragging. Yeah, it feels like it's another Monday, second Monday for us. Um, but this is our review, guys. Let's get right to it. The review of The Assistant, man. I mean, okay. First off the bat, I would say, um, of course, it's the actress from Ozark. That's where the first thing I recognize from her, um, you know, uh, Julia, uh, Julie Gardner. Julia Gardner. Yeah, Julia Gardner. And it's funny too because she's an American actress, which originally I didn't even know she was a model too, uh, and a model. So, uh, of course, she's uh, she actually came out in um, the Perks of Being a Wallflower too. I forgot about that too. Um, so yeah, so going into this, I was just like, man. Let's see her lobby the trailers and everything. I was just like, okay, let's see how this goes. And man, it was a very miserable movie. Not to say the movie was miserable, but it just in the life of the movie itself was just miserable. Like she was just miserable. I mean, yeah, I felt sorry for her. I felt sorry for this one girl. I was just like, man. It's very interesting because you see this like mundane job she has. She's like yeah. an assistant to like a, very, very New York powerful. City executive and you see the kind of thing she's like the first one in she yep. gets there super early still tired obviously yeah um she does all the little things behind the scenes Everything. to make the the office kind of ro- roll and, and work and she greases the wheels um and then she's like the last one to leave yeah um so and you see the activity that she is not for one very sociable or maybe welcomed yeah. i think she's like a little bit more of like a ignored mm-hmm. or maybe even some cases looked down upon she's just very quiet she's just a very quiet person and you and, see like her interactions with yeah. the officers they're not very warming they're the, not the nobody 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 yeah. really except for the other assistants in her yeah. office but then again i don't know if that's probably just like new york you know it's just i mean it's just everyone's just busy doing their and living in their own world so it's just you know like i could see that happening too but that sucks though to yeah. have no interaction from your colleagues and, that that sucks and it, and it just shows how much power um, men could do, and it just, it's and it sucks because it just it's still I'm pretty sure it's still happening in in a workplace like that in a work. So I you know, situation I liked like that. I think you say you call it action dialogue where nothing eventful happens. There's no one climactic yeah. there moment. There is, and this is funny too because I I'm not a fan of no build ups in movies, but this has no build. This is directed by Kitty Green. Yeah, so I don't like any movies that don't have build up, which is funny. But this movie, this movie in particular, I was, I was all like, "Damn, okay, this is pretty good." Like action dialogue and everything, we talk about it. But the, it's weird because usually sometimes you have action dialogue and there's a build up and it goes into like, uh, uh, you know, dialogue between two individuals. But this one was just like, there's no build up. There's no. It's very. It. I don't want to say it's very dull, but it's very has a strong writing and it has a strong um, script. I would say when it comes down to it, because I actually, I, it was good. I'll say that. It was a good movie. Was it, I'll, I'll say that it was good. Was it like in popcorn movie where it's action, blood, you know, where the average I, movie, and that's the thing too, because we talked about it. Will the average movie goer like this movie? No. I no. feel like there's a powerful message behind it. Like you, yeah, there you is. see all these little things happening collectively yes. throughout the entire film. And it's just the simple things, the small little things that yeah. she notices, the culture around her, what mm-hmm. people are telling her. Yeah. Um, what she has to go through and it's just the small yeah. things and they kind of progressively go throughout nothing mm. climactic like you said there's no build up there's yeah. no one and s- dramatic scene but she, I feel yeah. like most people just won't like it because you know we're, we're used to like things like yeah. Fast and the Furious and you know yeah. like all the superhero movies mm-hmm. and you know all those action films and I feel like this is something that it will surprise a lot of people and he- here's action. the thing she doesn't have any respect I mean, she doesn't get any respect whatsoever. She doesn't get any respect, acknowledgement even. No acknowledgement whatsoever. And I just feel sorry for this girl. Well, I would say the treatment she receives from her boss is borderline abusive. 
Yeah. In a sense, because you see oh, her yeah. boss tears into her for just small things. Yeah. Like, just small things. She Cussing he up tears, a storm. He yells at her over the phone, yeah. and she takes it, internalizes it, and just... Injustice okay. is happening. It, but, but at the very, very end, he does, or one scene, he does apologize. Yeah. He apologizes, and he says, you know, I was out of line. I apologize. You're doing great work. Which I feel like can be kind of maybe abusive because he does more yelling and i think <laughs> he does yeah. more yelling and he's really like a short just, fuse yeah and let's just say i wouldn't put up with a boss like that and that. so he has like he does his temper yeah does his thing yells and then he kind of like tries to keep her real not in. just that but he has to all she has to also deal with the wife too which is another like, right yeah. which also yeah. yeah so i feel like she gets a lot of bad toxic yeah. energy yelling yeah. from most of the work it takes place. a toll and you can see it's taking yeah. a toll and but she she is very uh the same like she just takes it internalizes. she doesn't mm. it's really hard for her to tell or prevent people yeah to people um about what's really going on yep and she it's really brilliant i like how she does when she sees little Things that kind of are like illegal in nature, like mm-hmm. sexual harassment in nature. Yeah, she does go to HR, to but yeah. HR kind of like shuts her down. Yeah. Kind of, I would say brilliantly because I feel like that actually happens in real <laughs> yeah, life. I'm pretty sure it does. I, feel, I like um, how this movie was such a mirror of what really happens. Like yes. this, this is a very believable corporate yeah. work culture. And I really liked how it yeah. captured it. The runtime came out for this movie was an hour and twenty seven minutes, which is actually good. It's a good runtime. I actually like that runtime a lot. Back to back movies in an hour and twenty something minutes. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, was this the film that we needed? I would say yes. yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I'm, I'm again. I'm gonna see. We already see a widespread critics are giving it like eighty nine percent, or it's like eighty. It's around the eighty percent mark, and uh, average moviegoers are giving it like nineteen and twenty, which I could understand why though. I understand both sides. Uh, was this the film that we deserved? Yes. Uh, where you said that again. Uh, rate one out of ten. Ten being the highest. We're going to give this rating, Angela. I'm going to give it a solid eight. I'm going to give I, it a seven. I, I think it's a really good film. I like the message yeah. behind it. Like I feel like that. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. Yeah. I, I feel like that it was delivered very well. Yeah. Like, like you said, to have a movie that doesn't have any notable action or... Yeah climactic it still keep you interested still keep you going and yeah i was okay all right i'll give i'll I'll give it an eight rethinking it reevaluating it in my head i was just like okay i'll give it an eight it deserves that i feel sorry for her (laughs) <laughs> i feel uh, sorry right. be- i feel sorry because i f- well, we feel this, sorry this- for anyone that has to go through this in their right. daily I, lives i think that's why because we we I'm, I'm i know people go through this yeah like we've seen it through so many things like the harvey weinstein scandal yeah. um and all those like conglomerates like that um they just i'm sure it's happened yeah. that's just what happens in the workplace yep. and you just see how everyone deals with it yes and doesn't do anything about it mm-hmm. and that that i think that topic in itself is interesting yep all right uh do, we, we, we recommend this movie right yeah i'm gonna see movie talk does recommend this movie guys be sure to check it out theater you guys come out it comes actually comes out the end of this uh in san antonio it comes out the end of this month so yeah so be sure to check out that movie guys when you ever get a chance um i'm i don't think i'm gonna buy this movie though it's not enough for me to buy i don't think i would buy it i liked it I wouldn't, I wouldn't like fly off my chair as soon as it hits the shelves, but right. you know, I like maybe it. Maybe if it's cheap on Blu ray, under $10, I'll buy it. I'll leave it that. Right? Sure. <laughs> All right, guys, be sure to give a thumbs up to our movie review, guys. Again, as always, I'm your host, Ryan D. A. Ryan 680, and this is my lovely wife, Angela. I'm Angela, that cat lady, Ange. That crazy cat lady. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you for making us a part of it. All right, have a good one.